Hello and welcome to the Open Timeline I.O. tutorial for Mr. Viewer. Here we will look at how to interact with Open Timeline I.O. and create a real file that Emma Viewer can read. First, we need to install Open Timeline I.O. In case you haven't done it, first we need to install PI Site 2, which is needed for Open Timeline I.O. View. And then we install Open Timeline I.O. itself. Okay, since both packages were installed already, they finish pretty fast and now we need to set up the environment to deal with real files because real files are not handled automatically by open timeline io at least for the time being so in the mr viewer version 5.28 or later you will find an open timeline io directory inside that directory you will find a conform script and adapters directory inside the adapters directory you will find you will find the real.pi file which is the actual converter a manifest file which is the connection to open timeline io and an environment variables and environment scripts that set up the environment variables appropriately there is a, an environment.sh for linux for linux bash or sh and an environment.bat for MS-DOS windows ok we call we source the ms.sh or we call the end.bat for windows mm -hmm. and now we are all set in this window we can go to some data open timeline io and there's a no spaces EDL which we can convert to a no spaces dot e dot real Here we convert it and it's all done in seconds. And it contains no clips because there's no attached uh, images or movie files. But we can see it in Emma Viewer. if we select the name we can see the name of the clip as it changes
okay but now let's make it with some real data for that we are going to use the conform script which we saw before here there is a movies directory which contains several movie files, several mp4s the mp4s are referred in the multitrack open timeline IO script and we're going to run the confirm script directly multitrack time movie files and convert it to the real file automatically as a single step and here we have five clips in multitrack in the real file we can also see it on audio view sorry audio view open timeline IO this is how they look nested but we when we see it on the real file, we'll see it as a flattened view. And here we see it as flattened clips. Here is a gap. And the movie file and the real file ends in a gap, in a long gap. Which we can see it in the auto view. It ends up in a long gap. is of 600 frames <coughs> and that's all for the open timeline IO tutorial we'll see it later with more tutorials on open timeline IO <coughs>